actually pushing a pine tree in my field. Hey, everybody, we're here with Mr. James Taylor. You know James. Well, uh, James, you and I... I uh, live in here. What? I live in here. You, yeah. Right. Yeah. This is the vessel that carries you. Yeah. This body offers to carry you for nothing, my I've friend. I've been riding this thing around now for a long time. Yeah. 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 It's a hell of a bicycle. Yeah. Now, James, you and I have... I've been lucky enough to interview you many times. We've sung together. Um, we've done stuff together. Like, we've had dinner together and stuff like that. It's, it's really been such a pleasure to get to know you, even in the small way that I have over the years. Um, but the problem with, you know, getting to know people is it's hard to do it in these sort of, like, 12 to 15-minute chunks that you do on a late-night show. And so what we've done here in the Late Show Labs is we've come up with 15 uh, scientifically calibrated questions called the Colbert Questionnaire that penetrates to the soul of another human being and reveals them <laughs> before the eyes of the world wow. for who they truly are. Are you brave enough to take the Colbert questionnaire, James Taylor? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good man. Yes. James Taylor, what is the best sandwich? Uh, Cuban sandwich, midnight sandwich, it's called. <laughs> Midnight sandwich? I think it's called Medianoche, yeah. Okay. All right. What's one thing you own that you should really throw out? Mm. I should throw out uh, my car. Because it's not good or yeah, you don't so like Yeah, it's, so it's had it. It's had it. It's... What are you driving? We're not endorsing here, but what are you driving? Well, I, I drive a, a, a Fiat 500 and a, and a Honda Element from 2003. But the car I should throw out is a Morris Minor. What's a Morris Minor? It's a... You know, the Volkswagen and the, the Fiat 500 and the, uh, the, the De Chevaux from France, uh, those were all people's cars that, after the war, were sort of made to put the, the population on wheels. Gotcha, yeah. And, uh, and uh, in this country, you had the Nash Rambler, I think, was... Oh, the, sure, with a jump seat in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But uh, the Morris Minor was the, was the British equivalent of the Volkswagen and the De Chevaux. It was uh, uh, just... Uh, they made it from sometime in the... Well, it may have actually preceded the war, but it certainly was made... Uh, from after the uh, World War II until about 1968, maybe later. Why do you have one? I, I, I that's the, such a good question. And I, <laughs> you know, and that's why, that's, I keep asking myself that and I should sell it. Okay. You know. So, just uh, call the number on your screen and... Uh... Does it run? It runs? Yeah, well, it did the last time I, I drove it downhill. But... What is the scariest animal? Uh... Bubonic plague. I guess it's a living thing, yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's a germ, but... It's a tiny animal. Yeah. It's tiny. Apples or oranges? Oh, apples. Yeah. Yeah. Honey crisp. <laughs> you know that? Do you know that one? I know the honey crisp. Oh, that's I'm a, I'm a Fuji man, but, uh, Well, you know. they, they, the honey crisp is, is... They're related. They are? Yeah, yeah. Honey Crisp has Fuji mostly in its DNA, but, uh, or RNA or whatever that an apple has. So they but, probably have DNA, but yeah. I thought apples were heterozygotic. They couldn't, uh... Yeah, but, but when, when they make a new apple, yeah, whenever you, whenever you when put... When one apple loves another apple very, very much. <laughs> they share a very special bee. <laughs> That's right. No, you, uh -huh. you never know if you... If you plant an apple from seed, if you let, let an apple go to seed, yeah. uh, you never know what you're going to get. Right. But when you get one that's really making a good apple, then you, uh, then you, you uh, basically make cuttings off of that one. And graft and, away. And graft, graft away. Graft yeah. away. Do you have any kind of... Do you have an orchard or anything? You seem like a guy who's got an orchard. I got a couple of apple trees. Wow. Yep. Are they honey crisps? They are. <laughs> have you ever asked someone for their autograph? Yeah, yeah, I have. I, I asked uh, um, Peter Yarrow from Peter, Paul, and Mary for his autograph once. Wow! Yeah. How old? Like, when? I think I might have been 14. Oh, that's awesome. Did you get it? Yeah. Wow. What do you think happens when we die, James? Well, I think we should rot. 
you think no embalming, no casket, put us in the ground, plant an apple tree on us. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what wow. I think. That's, that's what I think. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah. No, but Favorite I... Favorite action movie. I'm sorry, did you want to say something more about death? No. <laughs> it is a comedy show, if you wanted to go on. <laughs> it is. It's a big topic. <laughs> it's the biggest. It's a big one, yeah. It's the biggie. Yeah. 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 Favorite action movie? Uh, the Bourne movies, those, uh, oh, the yeah. Matt Damon, yeah. Wow. That the, close knife fighting thing with like rolled up newspapers and stuff, oh, it's that fantastic. That great. And he puts the magazine in the toaster. And, oh, and lets the gas go? Yeah. Amazing. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll watch that movie just to get to that scene before I go to bed and turn off TBS. That Matt Damon. <laughs> that Matt Damon. Mm. Tough guy. Oh. Sexy guy, huh? That Matt Damon? Yeah. Window or aisle? Aisle. Aisle. And why? Because I have my reason. I'm just curious. And you, I don't have to climb over somebody to yeah. go to the bathroom. And I don't mind getting up and letting someone go by. So. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're the hero. I'd, yeah. <laughs> right. I'd, I'd, I'd rather in be slightly inconvenienced than feel as though I was inconveniencing someone else. It's not, oh. it's not, yeah. oh, it's, it's not nice. I gotta say, that's a really low bar for, oh. <laughs> he didn't yeah. save a puppy. Yeah, it's, and, 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 and there's nothing that, that anyone ever does that's not selfish. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cats or dogs? Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm sort of split cats and dogs, but right now I have uh, uh, puppies, uh, two new pugs, uh, and uh, and uh, so right now dogs. Okay. But but I, I but but dogs small enough that a cat could take them in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta yeah. keep it even. You're right. And you have cats as well. I I my I'm between cats right now. Uh, <laughs> Is it something you said? Is it? I don't know. Okay. You only get one song to listen to for the rest of your life. What is it? Uh, I mean, is it mandatory that I listen to it? I mean, can I not listen to anything? Can I turn it way down? How about this? Yeah, no, you don't have to. It's not like it's playing like, you know, in a vision of hell where it never turns off. <laughs> It's just that for the rest of your life, you only get one song to go to, and like, oh, I'm gonna listen to something, and this is the song that comes on. Oh, oh, Musicians really don't like this question. Yeah. See, I guess uh, I'd say, um, uh, probably Desifinado by, by Antonio Carlos Rubin with, uh, <laughs> with, with the, the Stan Getz version of it. Is, is that is that is that the is that the girl from Ipanema? Is that the same? The same, yep. Same artist. Same same record too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What number am I thinking of? Five. <laughs> Five. No. <laughs> but speaking of which, describe the rest of your life in five words. Uh, play the hand I'm dealt. Congratulations, James. You're known. American Standard is available now. James Taylor, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> 